Tucked away in this beautiful landscaped area off Memorial Drive sits Depelchin Children's Center, a place dedicated to providing services to children who've seen or experienced the worst. So Depelchin Children's Center, um, we make it a trauma-informed care focus, and so we really try to look at the kids that come in through a trauma lens. Trauma that sometimes includes sexual abuse. Through components like individual and or family therapy, the staff at Depelchin Children's Center creates a child-friendly environment to get kids to open up and eventually put them on the path to healing. So sometimes reading books or having them build or recreate something really helps them be able to express themselves um, in different ways other than just talking about it. All of our services are really going to start with a good diagnostic interview. So sometimes families seek us out because they know we have um, expertise in the community for dealing with trauma. And then other times we are really providing families more information and helping them to understand it. For families who may may have suspicion of child trauma or abuse, staff psychologist supervisor Shalonda Brooks says look at age related behavioral changes for two or three year olds. Look for excessive fear and crying and changes like in toilet training. And when we get to school age children, you're going to you might see some of those same things, but then um, also difficulty concentrating in school, um, having more trouble getting along with peers or getting along with others. You may see a lot of anger and aggression. And again, the important thing to keep in mind is that it's a change from their previous behavior. Um, and then when you get beyond that in adolescence, you may see things like depression, anxiety, um, suicidal gestures or self-harm. All symptoms that something could be going on. Experts say trust your gut, but have professionals follow up. The first stop is often CPS. After that, the journey for healing for victims begins. I think there's definitely hope on the other side, and that's one of our goals are to empower families and help them get through that process. Melinda Spaulding, Fox 26 News.